Tens of millions of people around the world have dementia with no definitive treatment. But now Stanford researchers have found the shingles vaccine can reduce the risk of dementia substantially. How significant is your study in terms of decreasing the risk of dementia? Our findings are, are really exciting um, because we just see this strong, strong protective effect for dementia. In medicine, what we need to show that a vaccine or a medication works is a randomized trial. So maybe we take a thousand study participants and then we flip a coin. We have got two groups, a vaccine ineligible group and a vaccine eligible group. We estimate that over a seven year follow up period, getting the shingles vaccine reduces your chances of a new dementia diagnosis by roughly 20%. That's incredible. How excited are you about the findings? I think this could be hugely important for population health, for clinical medicine, and, and also for research into the causes of dementia. We came into this without any expectations that we would see strong effects for dementia. We were aware of this uh, budding literature around viruses that preferentially target your nervous system and um, them potentially being implicated in dementia, but we definitely did not expect such strong protective signals in our data. How did you go about using the shingles vaccine to study dementia? There's growing evidence that viruses that preferentially target your nervous system and that remain hibernated in your nervous system for life may be implicated in the development of dementia. And the chickenpox virus that later causes shingles in, in your life is, is one such virus. But there's also a growing body of evidence that vaccines may have broader effects on the immune system beyond the, the specific antibody responses that they are designed to elicit and, and that these broader effects could have benefits for chronic diseases. The 20% decrease though, that's really significant. It would be much more effective than any of the existing pharmacological tools that we have for, they're not even preventatives, but for, for treating dementia, for sure, yeah.